Well, as a, about an estimated 1 million people are living with multiple sclerosis in the U.S., and about 10 to 15,000 of those are right here in Mississippi. Now, this month, uh, Mississippi's MS Society is trying to get the word out about the disease, then also raise a little bit of money and to find out a little bit about both the disease and the uh, walk that's coming up. We have Mick Hintz with us this afternoon. Mick, thank you for dropping by. Yeah, sure. Appreciate it. Let's talk a little bit about MS before we talk about what's coming up here. What are, what are some of the symptoms of MS? Well, they vary, Walt. They, uh, some people will start by having blindness. There's frequently, people have fatigue, just debilitating fatigue, shakes. Uh, they're varied. It's the nervous system. So anywhere that you have nerves, you can have something go wrong. Yeah. Okay. Is there a, a class of people, a type of personality? Uh, any, is, there, it is, is anyone more likely to get MS than anyone else? Well, people are generally diagnosed between in their 20s and 30s, but yeah. we've known of people as young as 12. Oh, wow. Um, women are three, three times more likely to have MS than men. Uh, we know this from the recent study that told us there are now a million, which is twice what we used to think. Wow. So, is, is there a reason for that? I may be putting you on the spot right here, other well, than is this just that way? Or? The recent study that was funded by the MS Society, uh, they looked at insurance records, okay. and that helped them determine how many people actually have been treated for MS. And so that let them get an accurate count. It was a peer-reviewed study. Speaking of treatments, there, there are a lot of treatments for MS. Tell us about some of those. Well, in 1988, when WALK MS started, there were no FDA-approved treatments for MS. Now there's over 20. Um, they vary from uh, oral pills to injections to IV uh, treatments that you get once a month or every six months, depending on the drug. Yeah. <laughs> With everything, early diagnosis is important. Is it up to someone to go to the doctor and tell the doctor, hey, I think I have MS, or is it more dependent on the doctor to be looking for these signs when patients come in? It's for hard. Other... It's hard, yeah. Walt. Okay. It, and the symptoms are so varying. It's a nervous system disorder. So every part of your body has nerves that go back to your brain. Yeah. They're like the wires in your house. Uh, it's a copper wire covered with insulation. The wire is the nerve, it's called an axon, mm -hmm. and the insulation is called myelin. And what happens is your nervous, or your uh, immune system thinks the myelin is something like a cold or a virus that it needs to fight, and it eats away that myelin from the nerves, and then the bare nerves, you get short circuits, or the signals are delayed. Yeah. So you end up, you know, people will end up with shakes, or you know, vision problems, uh, voice. It, the symptoms are so varied that it's hard to nail it down immediately. Uh, so people start chasing symptoms that they don't know what they are, yeah. and it takes you know an MRI. Uh, the lesions, uh, the missing myelin shows up on MRI. Now, let's talk about the walk. Why is this walk so important? Well, this is our biggest fundraiser. Um, over the course of 35 years, the National MS Society has raised $1 billion wow. with a B. Uh, those 20 drugs that are now out there to treat MS, nearly every one of them had funding from the MS Society for its research that led to its approval. So they're doing lots of good work. Uh, and our walk Saturday is to raise awareness about MS and then we fundraise. And anybody that wants to walk can walk, is anybody. that right? Okay. And we just walk around the ballpark. And here's the uh, information on your screen right there, the walk. Uh, MS Jackson will be uh, Saturday, April 22nd, Trustmark Park over in Pearl. The site opens at 8 a.m. The walk begins at 9 a.m. and our good buddy Byron Brown is going to be the MC this year for the walk. Uh, if you would like to register a team or make a donation, uh, go to walkms.org and search for Walk MS Jackson 2023.